It's a meeting of the top two in League Two with this game potentially having massive implications as to how the top shapes up. Stockport are top and boast alongside Notts County is scoring the most goals in the entire EFL and have lost just once at home this season, emphasising just how much of a fortress Edgeley Park is. Mansfield, their opponents, have had only one defeat all season and they come here sitting just below Stockport and five points behind their opponent as what a game and occasion it would be to reduce the gap and strengthen their home hopes of catching Stockport to the top of the division as before kick-off both sides joined together to mourn the loss of those Stockport supporters who lost their lives over the course of 2023. Brunt, and forward, here's a header away, well Stockport had two tricky away trips on Boxing Day and then Friday night, which they got draws from against Barrow and Bradford respectively, both those sides going well in the League 2 form table, Madden onto Ibu Toure, right to the goal, well, Toure came onto it, Madden would find him, he just waited and waited, Madden. Then he sought the corner of his eye where Toure was. On he came to it. Flashes wide of the goal. Mansfield in their last two games taken four points to end 2023. Win against Grimsby and then followed that up with a draw against Doncaster at home. Bowery. Good run this. He's away from Toure who slips. Cut back to Reed. Wide of the goal. Well, it's a save from Hinchcliffe, it's a good one as Reed goes close. Mansfield substitute was in the right place to take the shot on. Got a save out of Hinchcliffe, however. Well, given how much the first half was a non-event, there were three players that went off injured, which was more than any shot on target from both sides mustered up together as Jaden Richardson goes down under the challenge of a Mansfield player. Over though, nothing wrong with it, says the referee. And towards Watson, who can't get it under control. Here now come Mansfield with Maris. Over now to Lucas Aikens, one of the two players that came on in the first half. Lewis. Having a go. Will be a corner. Couldn't quite get it out of his feet. It did take a deflection, though. Given in by Clark. Meeting it first was Crowsdale for Stockport. Back in by Clark. Into Maris. And Mansfield strike first. The side in second. Lead the side top. And it's George Maris who heads in Ollie Clark's cross to give Mansfield the lead. Ollie Clark got the cross right this time, Maris onto it, and was able to direct it past Ben Inchcliffe and give Mansfield the lead. With just under five minutes of the second half gone. What does that now do to Stockport? Does that provoke a reaction out of them? He's gone on towards Madden. Has it taken away from him? There's a chance for Camps. Mansfield able to get it away. As they have got themselves a free kick as Crowsdale was bundled over. Well, eventually they would get a shot towards Christy Pym's goal. It would come from Callum Camps. There would be a Mansfield player in the way, which was Stephen McLaughlin with it. Brilliant interception. Towards Wooten. A few groans that there should have been a free kick there for Stockport. Camps into the Mansfield penalty area, into Wooten. Mansfield getting it clear, it's come to Madden. Flicking it forward, Olofe. Here's now Toure. 
However, though, the offside flag is raised. Mansfield doing their defensive duties brilliantly there. Stockport was sniffing for the equaliser, but it just wouldn't come. Odin Bailey. Turo will cross to the back post. Aikins will clear. Really has been a defensive masterclass since they went a goal up of from Mansfield as now they come forward again. It's gone on towards Keeler Dunn. Right side of the penalty area, crossing towards Quinn, heads it down. Hinchcliffe saves. Well, look how quick they got on the break there. Stephen Quinn into Keeler Dunn. Just a little bit too high with the cross. Difficult one for Quinn to get right with his head. Jaden Richardson. Long again. They've gone quite direct in this second half. Nick Powell. Odin Bailey. Mansfield really holding firm. Toure away from Clark and crossing. Was there an arm use there? The referee says no. Wasn't the best of clearances by Bowery. And then the following header from Madden's over the bar. Well, again, there was a shout for a handball, which seemingly the officials have given Mansfield the benefit of the doubt from. Right, playing the right pass forward. On to Richardson, clipping it in. Madden trying to come onto it. Woodson with the header to Olofe. Brilliantly saved by Christy Pym. As Stockport are shut out. Well, there was no Mansfield defender there to make the block. Brilliantly kept out by Christy Pym. It looked like it was going to go to reach Madden, but it went to Woodson. He flicked it to Olofe. And Pym made a big save to keep him out. Well, only Swindon Town can say they've beaten Mansfield this season. We are deep into the 13 minutes of stoppage time. Not long. One that Keeler Dunn tries to unsettle the Stockport defence from. And Keeler Dunn here will have a shot on goal. Steadies himself, but he's hit it wide. Oh, kill right tried to head it back to Ben Inchcliffe who scooped it into the path of Keeler Dunn. Eventually would get the shot away, but would not do well enough from it. Aikens. Stop put throw. Which they're very, very quick to take, as you'd expect, given they are trailing. The best of touches by Horsfall. It's now through to Davis, Keeler Dunn. He might seal this here for Mansfield, and he's done so. In the battle of the top two, it is Mansfield that have secured the points. And it's Davis Keeler Dunn who's wrapped it up. Stockport coming into this. Had only lost once at home, and that came on the opening day. How Mansfield have managed to smash that to pieces by getting a huge victory. And inflicting a second end defeat of the season on Stockport. Davis Keeler Dunn, Mansfield top goal scorer. You can certainly see why we finishes like that. Stayed calm, waited for the right moment to shoot, and how he celebrates. And coming into this, they were five points off them with two games in hand, Mansfield. Of Stockport one. Will put them still in a good position, but now it very much feels like Mansfield can surpass Stockport at the top. What a huge victory to start the new year it is for Mansfield. In a game where both goals were scored in the second half, George Maris and then Davis Keeler Dunn adding the second deep, deep into stoppage time. Sees Mansfield come away with a massive victory as they've beaten Stockport. Their title rivals on their own patch. Stockport County nil. 
Mansfield Town 2.